Hello, Chemist Corner. Today, I want to describe three different quantities that are often confused in chemistry. The first, atomic or molecular mass. This is the number on the periodic table. We can look at the table and directly report the atomic mass in atomic mass units or AMUs. If it's a molecular mass, we have a little bit more work to do, but we are simply pulling the number off the table and then writing atomic mass unit. The second is called molar mass. And a molar mass is the mass, but this time reported in grams. It's the mass reported in grams of exactly one mole of a pure substance. The molecular mass and the molar mass will be the same number. But in the first case, I will report the answer in atomic mass units. In the second case, I will report the answer in grams. The final one, molecular weight, is actually the mass per mole. So the numbers will be the same between molecular mass, molar mass, and molecular weight. We'll simply report the units slightly differently. In molecular weight, we report grams per one mole. Let's look at some real examples here. If I want the atomic mass of chlorine, I simply read the number off the periodic table. I pull my periodic table out and I read off what is the mass of chlorine. And it's 35.45 AMU, atomic mass units. And that's it. That's all there is to it. That's my atomic mass. If I want the molecular mass of aluminum oxide, well, I have a little bit more work to do, but the process is the same. I simply say I need two aluminums, three oxygens, and pull those numbers off my periodic table again. So I go two times 27, which is 54 atomic mass units. That is the contribution of aluminum to aluminum oxide. 3 times 16.04 oxygen, which gives me 48 atomic mass units. And that is the contribution of oxygen to the molecular mass of aluminum oxide. Add them up. 102.0 atomic mass units. And we're done. That is the molecular mass of aluminum oxide. If we want to do the molar mass, in this case the molar mass of nitrogen tribromide, the process is going to look exactly the same as the previous one. I'm going to say one nitrogen, three bromides. Pull the number off the periodic table and say one times 14, of course, is 14.0 atomic mass units, that is the contribution nitrogen has to the molar mass of nitrogen tribromide. If I take my bromine, it's three times 79.9, which is again the number off the periodic table, and that works out to be 239.7 atomic mass units. 239.7 is the contribution bromine has to the molar mass of nitrogen tribromide. Add them up, of course you get 253.7 atomic mass units. Now, if we were trying to do molecular mass, we're finished. We're not. We're trying to do molar mass, which is the mass of exactly one mole. So one mole of nitrogen tribromide is now going to be equal to 253.7 grams of nitrogen tribromide. That is how you would report the answer of the molar mass. Report it in grams. Finally, if we want to do molecular weight, well, this is the weight of one mole, but it's reported in grams per mole. Well, it's a more complicated formula. So I have more work to do, but it's the same process. I'm simply going to say three calciums, two phosphoruses, and finally eight oxygens. 
and figure out the contribution of each one. Calcium has a, an atomic mass of 40.1, so three of them becomes 120.3 atomic mass units. My phosphorus, I have two of them. They are each 31, so that gives me a contribution of 62.0 atomic mass units, again, to the overall molecular weight. My eight oxygens, eight times 16, that's going to give me 128.0 atomic mass units. Add all of those up and you get 310.3 atomic mass units. If I wanted molecular mass, I'm done. 310 atomic mass units. If I want molecular mass, this would become 310.3 grams of calcium phosphate in one mole. Since I want molecular weight, I report the number, the same number, but I report the number as 310.3 grams per one mole. I simply report it as grams per mole, and that's how you report molecular weight. Now, normally we write that in this format, 310.3 grams per mole. But we understand that to mean it's 310.3 grams divided by one mole. It, it, it's in fact a unitary rate. But that will be my molecular weight of calcium phosphate. I hope that clears up the difference between atomic and molecular mass, molar mass, and molecular weight. Recall simply that atomic or molecular weight is reported in atomic mass units, molar mass is reported in grams, and molecular weight is reported in grams per mole. See you again on Chemist Corner.